Have you ever wondered what those panels on the wings are that always extend during landing or sometimes during flight? Today I will tell you what they are, so stay tuned to the end of the video. So today I'm going to talk about flight spoilers and the ground spoilers on the Boeing 737. If you sit on the window seat close to the wings, you will have noticed them during flight or after landing. There are four flight spoilers on each wing that are used during flight and there is an additional two that opens up on ground during landing or rejected takeoff. To understand what spoilers are, I'm going to talk about its three different purposes. They are driven hydraulically as the aerodynamic forces on the spoilers are pretty high and most planes have a backup system in case one of the hydraulic fails. The first purpose of the spoilers is roll control. Roll control is primarily achieved by the ailerons, which are the panels that you see close to the tip of the wings, together with the flight spoilers. The way that they work is that they move in relation with the ailerons to reduce the lift on the wing that is dropping. During approach, if you look out the window, you will notice that when the aileron on the dropping wing moves up, you will notice that the flight spoilers open slightly, then the plane start turning together with the help of the rudder, which is done automatically by the yaw damper. So if a 737 has, has a jam control, you can turn the aircraft using the flight spoilers. You might have noticed sometimes during descent, you will see them being extended. That's the pilot using the speed brakes. There is a lever in the cockpit at the left side of the throttle that the pilots use to extend and retract the, st the speed brakes. And when the pilots put it in flight detent, the flight spoilers partially extend so much that they provide drag but does not reduce the full lift of the wings. Pilots use the speed brakes to descend faster while maintaining their desired speed or to reduce the speed faster to extend the flaps. The third purpose is the one you notice the most. That is when the plane touches down. The thing that will normally slow the aircraft down are the wheel brakes. So when the plane touches down, you will notice that the flight spoilers extend to maximum because it's in ground detent, together with the two ground spoilers that are closer to the fuselage, which will extend even higher, almost vertical. The reason is, first, extra drag to help slow the plane down. Second, the ground spoilers are there to reduce the lift that the wing is producing so that the full weight of the aircraft sinks down on the wheels and make the brakes more effective. So these are the three reasons why spoilers exist. First, roll control. On the 737, if you put more than one unit, one and a half unit on the yoke, you will get spoiler deflection. The second is speed brakes so that the pilots will descend faster while maintaining speed or reduce speed faster. And the third reason is ground spoilers to destroy the lift that the wings is producing. So next time when you are flying and you see them extend, it's either the plane is turning or the pilots are trying to descend faster or when the plane lands or during a rejected takeoff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also follow my socials, I will drop the link down in the description. And also, if you have any aviation questions that you want me to answer, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again, see you in the next video.